Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Dawson, and in case you've been living under a rock, yesterday Garrett Cole was traded to the Houston Astros from the Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm pretty sure all of you saw the title, and yes, I 100% believe the Pirates won this trade, but first, I want to get into what this trade means for the Astros. So after the Garrett Cole trade, the Astros rotation will be looking something like this. Justin Verlander, Dallas Keuchel, Lance McCullers, Garrett Cole, and Charlie Morton. Yes, I know what some of you are thinking, Garrett Cole is the fourth starter. Yes, I believe McCullers is better than Cole. Let me explain. Looking at Cole's numbers, you can see a massive spike in ERA last year when he posted a 4.26 ERA, which is not anywhere close to Cole's presumed ace status. And this, going along with Cole's struggles against American League teams, is not a good combination. To be fair to Cole, he hasn't faced American League teams as much, so I will give him some leeway. However, in 2018, Cole is projected to have a 4.29 ERA. The Astros do have two more years of control of Cole, as next year he has Arbitration 3 and then he is an unrestricted free agent. Now moving on to the Pirates side of things. The Pirates in return receive Colin Moran, Joe Musgrove, Michael Feliz, and Jason Martin. I'm going to go through these guys one by one, so let's start off with, in my opinion, the best prospect they got back, Colin Moran. I've been watching Colin play for a little over two years now, and Pirates fans, let me tell you, he's good. Last year in AAA, Moran hit 308 and hit 18 home runs before he was called up to the Astros due to Correa's injury. Moran did get to play third for the Astros and he was playing great, hitting 364 with a home run. That was until this happened. Moran fouled off a pitch straight to his eye and then he was carted off the field. Then he was placed on the disabled list and so far that's been it for Moran's major league career. In all likelihood, Moran will be the Pirates starting third baseman in 2018 and I have a feeling this is going to be a breakout year for Moran. Next we have Joe Musgrove who there isn't that much to say about, I mean he's just kind of average. He'll probably be a solid 4th or 5th starter for the Pirates for a while. Next is Michael Feliz, I view Feliz as a throwaway prospect. He is a bullpen pitcher with major league experience but his career war is negative, which means him being on the team negatively affects the team. But the Pirates picked him up for a reason, so they must be seeing something that we aren't. And he is only 25 years old, so there's still time to develop. Lastly, we have outfielder Jason Martin. Last year, Martin split between high A and double A. He doesn't have any major weaknesses, but I don't see him becoming much more than a fourth outfielder in the majors. Okay, so I think most of us can agree the Pirates aren't close to winning the World Series or competing for a pennant anytime soon, right? So then why not trade Garrett Cole now and get more for him? I mean, I think the Pirates could have done a little better than the return they got for Cole, but what they got was fine. Garrett Cole does have some great potential, but something major would have to change for him to get there, and him to do that in two years before he is a free agent is unlikely. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you guys agree or disagree with me, drop a comment and let me know what you think. Now, I wish the best for Cole and all the prospects that were traded for him. No, I don't hate them or the Astros. In fact, the Astros are probably my favorite team. But like and subscribe to Flip Crew today, and peace. Yeah, we always talk about the same things. We just say them different. Try to fix it. Crazy, isn't it? You say mama's always proud and play the videos of us as kids. I get it. I think that both of us live in the past, so we take for granted the present.